Sam, what advice would you give to the next generation? They're extraordinarily conscious of the topic of diversity and inclusion. Uh, they have access to information, to um, points of view, to perspective. Some of us have also had the opportunity of traveling and living internationally. So um, I think that the topic of diversity comes almost native to the younger generation. And that's such an encouraging thought. Therefore, would expect the younger uh, coming into the workforce to expect DNI as part of the normal set of value systems within the organizations that uh, they, they join. In fact, I suspect that for many of them would be a sine qua non condition for them to be even wanting to join an organization. So um, if there was probably one single advice that I would, that I would give is to continue to do what they're doing because they're doing such a great job and continue to be authentic, continue to raise your voice, uh, continue to manifest your opinions because ultimately diversity and inclusion is, is a change initiative and it's a change initiative within organizations and uh, within society. And so in my opinion, diversity comes with courage and uh, with, uh, with the ability of expressing your dissent. And it's really great um, to hear as well that the younger generation needs no encouragement. I think it took a long time for, um, for us and for a lot of people to learn how to ask for what they want. Um, I don't think the younger generations have a problem with that these days. I think that puts them with a strong foot forward as they enter the workforce. Um, and with, of course, all the increased publicity, increased focus and initiative on DNI, um, I'm hoping that we will see that ingrained in the future generation. And our topic would be talking about diversity and inclusion from a totally different perspective than just a gender diversity issue.